Hello everyone, and welcome to Train Talk. This month is the 10 year anniversary of the CoasterFan2105 YouTube channel, and to celebrate, we are going to be taking a look at the Coaster Commuter Train service that runs in San Diego County. We will be talking all about the coaster, its history, and what the future will bring for the service. Let's get started. The coaster is a commuter train that runs along a 41 mile stretch of track between San Diego, California and Oceanside, California. It is one of several transportation services in San Diego County that is provided by the North County Transit District, or NCTD for short, and trains are operated by Bombardier Transportation. The name Coaster is a shortened version of the service's original official name, the Coast Express Rail. Between San Diego and Oceanside, trains make stops at the Old Town Transit Center, Sorrento Valley, Solana Beach, Encinitas, Carlsbad Poinsettia, and Carlsbad Village. Currently, the railroad owns seven locomotives and 28 passenger cars. Five of the locomotives are Type F40 PHM-2C units built by Morrison Knudsen, while the other two are F59 PHI locomotives built by Electromotive Division. The 28 passenger cars are all Bombardier bi-level cars, 10 of which are cab cars. This allows trains to reverse direction in short order after arriving at the final stop, a necessity for commuter train service. Equipment is stored overnight and maintained at the Stuart Mesa Commuter Facility, located just a few miles north of Oceanside. On weekdays between runs, three train sets are stored south of the downtown San Diego Depot at the San Diego Trolley Yards. North County Transit District owns the entire right-of-way over which coaster trains operate between San Diego and Oceanside. They also own the portion of the railroad between Oceanside and the San Diego County-Orange County line, although no in-service coaster trains currently operate over this stretch of track. About two-thirds of the rail line from downtown San Diego to the county line are double-tracked, with the majority of the line scheduled to have an additional track by 2050. For more on current track work projects being performed in San Diego County, check out my previous episode of Train Talk. In addition to the coaster trains, NCTD also operates the Sprinter Rail service between Oceanside and Escondido. On weekdays, 11 trains run in each direction with two additional round trips on Friday evenings during the summer. Saturday, Sunday, and holiday service consists of four round trips made throughout the day. From April to October, a total of six round trips are made on Saturdays. The trip from San Diego to Oceanside takes just about one hour. In addition to coaster trains, three Amtrak trains in each direction make additional stops at the Sorrento Valley and Carlsbad Village coaster stations. On weekdays, four coaster train sets are used, typically consisting of one locomotive and five cars. In more recent years, one of the four sets runs with an additional locomotive in case there is a breakdown. On Saturdays in the summer, two sets are used and one set is used on Sundays as well as Saturdays during the winter. Fares are broken down into three zones. Zone 1 runs from Oceanside to Solana Beach. Zone 2 includes just Sorrento Valley. And Zone 3 runs between Old Town and Downtown San Diego. Travel within one zone costs $4, while travel through two zones is $5, and travel through three zones is $5.50 as of 2018. Monthly passes are also available for frequent riders. As of 2017, the average yearly ridership is around 1.5 million. The weekday ridership is just shy of 5,000 per day. Now let's talk briefly about the history of the coaster. Regular service on the coaster started February 27, 1995. During the previous year, the rail line was purchased from the Santa Fe Railroad and brand new stations were constructed at Old Town, Sorrento Valley, Solana Beach, Encinitas, Carlsbad Poinsettia, and Carlsbad Village. The original train equipment was also built that year. This included the 5 F40s and 16 passenger cars. Six additional passenger cars were purchased a short time later in 1997. At first, service was fairly limited, running just a few round trips on weekdays as a demonstration commuter-only service. Shortly thereafter, the schedule was expanded and Saturday service was added to help off-peak travelers. Midday service and late Friday evening service was also added in the late 1990s. 
trains originally ran as three car sets, but some of these were soon expanded to four and eventually five cars. In the mid-2000s, special event service was expanded with special trains for Padres baseball games in downtown. To accommodate increasing demand, two F-59 PHIs were purchased in 2001. An additional six passenger cars were purchased in 2003, two of which were cab cars. Starting in the mid-2000s, the F-40s began going through a rebuild program at Norfolk Southern's Altoona Works in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Following the Great Recession of 2008, trains were temporarily cut back to four cars, and the fares and fare zones were restructured from the original four zones to the current three. So, what lies ahead for the coaster? More track work will continue to improve travel times in the future and will also eventually lead to additional trips added to the schedule. New stations are planned for the Del Mar Fairgrounds, downtown next to Petco Park, and Camp Pendleton. NCTD has also looked at the possibilities of running express service, using sprinter vehicles on the coaster route, and extending coaster service into Orange County. The biggest change that will be happening to Coaster over the next few years is the replacement of most of the current fleet. NCTD recently announced that it will be purchasing five new Siemens SC44 Charger locomotives to replace the old F40 PHM2C models. These locomotives will be arriving starting in the spring of 2021 and will most likely replace all the F40s by the end of that year. In addition to new locomotives, NCTD is also looking into replacing their original 22-car fleet as these cars are nearing the end of their useful service life. The coaster has served San Diego County's commuters well over the last two decades. With many service improvements on the horizon, it looks like coaster will continue to provide reliable rail transportation through the region for many years to come. Thank you for watching this episode of Train Talk. To find out more about the coaster and other NCTD services, please visit GoNCTD.com. For a more in-depth look at the coaster service, I recommend checking out the video Coaster San Diego to Oceanside from TSGMultimedia.com. If you have any comments to share with me, please leave those below. And finally, make sure you're up to date with my latest videos by subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell icon next to the channel name to receive notifications every time I post a new video. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Mike Armstrong. I'll see you down the line. Thanks for watching.